All right, going to do a quick little video showing you the roots of Islamic moon worship because the truth of the matter is that Islam is just repackaged Arabic, uh, pre-Islamic, basically pre-Islamic Arabia had moon idol idolatry and uh, the god of, of Islam, Allah, is an Arabian moon god and the truth of the matter is that Islam is just repackaged Arabian moon idolatry. So, and this is actually shown in the scripture, the practices of praying to the moon featured by the Islamic religion go back a long way. So, Let's get that show from scripture. So first of all, we see examples of Israelites facing a certain way as they prayed as well. You see that with Muslims, they'll face towards Mecca. Well, in this case, the Israelites were facing towards the east when they went apostate. This was done to worship the sun, similar to how Muslims will face Mecca to worship the moon unknowingly. Uh, this was described as being even a great, an even greater abomination than the woman weeping for Tammuz says in uh, Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 14 to 16, Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was towards the north, and behold, there sat a woman weeping for Tammuz. Then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn uh, thee yet again. Sorry, turn ye, turn ye that, turn ye, sorry, turn thee yet again. Not good at reading on a computer. Uh, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house, and behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, there were about five and twenty men with their backs toward the temple of the Lord and their faces toward the east, and they worshipped the sun toward the east. Uh, now, when the, when the Israelites were worshipping the sun and the moon, God was condemning it severely. Obviously, it was an abomination. It was idolatry. Muslims will claim they don't worship the moon, but the prevalence of the moon you'll see in Islamic art and Islamic, uh, whenever you just go and Google and search up just pictures of Allah, and you'll often have the moon featured in those pictures. Why? Well, because they're unknowingly worshiping the moon. It's subconscious. Uh, Islam is just a simple fact. The simple fact that matters is that Islam is Arabian moon idolatry. Here's another verse showing the origins of Islamic moon worship. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 1 to 2. At that time, saith the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah, and the bones of his princes, and the bones of the priests, and the bones of the prophets, and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves, and they shall spread them before the sun and the moon, and all the hosts of heaven whom they have loved and whom they have served and after whom they have walked and whom and whom they have sought and whom they have worshipped they shall not be gathered nor be buried they shall be for dung upon the face of the earth okay that's what God thinks about your Islamic moon idolatry if you're a Muslim. And by the way, I need to point this out as well. Uh, Muslims will say, well, Allah is just simply the Arabic word for God. Now, that is, that is true. You will hear Arabic-speaking Christians using the word Allah. But the Allah of Islam is not the biblical Allah, you know, Jehovah, essentially. Uh, the, when, when Muslims refer to Allah, they're unknowingly, subconsciously referring to that Arabian moon idol that Muhammad incorporated into the God of Islam. Because all they did was just took Arabian uh, heathen religion, got rid of the other gods they had, and just kept one of them, Allah. Hence why he had a lot of success at winning over a lot of the Arabians, because well, because Allah was not a foreign god to them. It was that one of their moon idol, one of their moon idols that Muhammad made into the god of Islam. Islam is just the spirituality of Ishmael. Uh, you, you can read about Ishmael's attributes in Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12. Uh, Islam is of the devil. Uh, don't be deceived by it. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.